Ahoy there, YouTube! We're back again today for another game review, another special tag team review. And today, we are going to be checking out Banana Party from Queen Games. This is for two to four players. Age is five plus. It'll take you about 20 minutes to play. And what are you trying to do in Banana Party, Sean? I'm trying to hide the monkeys in this, in the, on your trees. Yep, you're going to be having this tree, which is like this uh, this wall. It's probably about maybe a foot tall, something, 10 inches tall. And you're going to be hiding your monkeys behind your tree and then rolling a dice trying to turn the different tree limbs to try and knock down other people's monkeys. If you do, what do you get? Bananas. You get bananas. And the person who gets the most bananas is going to be the winner of this game. I would say this is a lot like uh, Battleship Junior, but with a really interesting theme. But does that interesting theme convert into a great game? Let's open it up and check it out. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Banana Party. So first and foremost, we've got a handy dandy rule sheet. It's a big rule sheet, uh, just one page, double-sided, full color, full pictures, illustrations, examples. It's very well done it should have you up and running in no time at all. So a uh, big thumbs up on the rule book. Now I do want to mention that I do not have a complete game set up purely for space purposes you're going to get three uh three more of these ones that you can set up that will look like this and in a two-player game you will have two in a three-player game you have three in a four-player game you will have four and they will be set up differently depending on how many players you are playing with but once you have it set up you are going to be able to hide your monkeys on the side and you're going to get four monkeys so when playing a two-player game you should have this board and you should have one other board right next to it you're going to put two of your monkeys on this tree and then you're gonna put two of the monkeys on the other tree and then you will be ready to go now what you're trying to do in this game is predict where the other players monkeys are because that is how you are going to gain bananas you will gain either one or two bananas if you knock a monkey off the tree depending on how many is in this upper right hand corner right here so i'll show you the components and then we'll get to the gameplay so this board right here it's really self pretty self-explanatory you're going to put two of these things together there's going to be a little little holder right here that you will clasp in there like such so just slide that in there you'll slide both of them in there and then you're going to take these little sticks and then you're going to poke them so they will be half on your side and half on the other side it's very easy to do for the most part uh, you're going to set out the bananas because those are going to be your victory points. You will go until all the bananas run out, or uh, you can set a certain amount of bananas. You're going to grab the die. People are going to put two monkeys on each tree they have in front of them, and then you are going to be ready to go. What are you going to do? Well, on your turn, you're going to roll this D6 die, which you will have to put the stickers on at the beginning. And there are, I believe, four different things you're going to see on this one. First, pretty self-explanatory ones. This, if you land on this, this means you will get to turn two of these so you turn it you always turn it clockwise and hopefully you will knock off someone else's monkey if they if you do knock that off the monkey stays on the ground and you collect however many bananas are on the monkey likewise uh, so you'll, that means you'll get to turn two of them this means obviously you're going to get to turn three of these things uh, so let's get to the other ones. This one means that you will get to turn one of them. And also, whenever you see the monkey, that means that everyone will get to put one of the monkeys that has fallen down back up on the tree. So that's the way the game, you know, this is the, the side of the die that keeps the game going. Always have to remember, though, you can only have two monkeys on each tree. So two monkeys here, two monkeys on this other pretend one that we, have, we don't have set up right now. Last but not least, you're going to do this, which means everyone's going to put one monkey back up on the tree if they have a monkey to put back up, and you will immediately collect one banana. So you're guaranteed to collect one banana. So let's show you how this works. Uh, so I think I got one right here. Turning it clockwise and bada boom, the thing falls off the tree. I'd say, oh, you got yourself two bananas, they would collect two bananas, and then this monkey would stay down here until anyone rolled another monkey, at which point I would then get to put it back up on a tree, so maybe I'll loop, maybe I'll try and trick him by putting it exactly on the same spot it was before. But anywho, you're going to continue to go until all of the bananas have run out, at which point one person will be the winner of Banana Party. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. <coughs> Alrighty then, Banana Party from Queen Games. What are our final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, Sean, do you have any cons with this game? Yes. What What cons do you have? I have... What don't you like about the game? I don't like when we... when... the... 
when my monkeys fell, fall off. Yep, so you have to place your monkeys behind the tree, and sometimes other people will knock off your monkeys. And once they knock off your monkeys, that means that they stay on the ground until someone rolls a monkey on the dice. So yeah, obviously there's going to be some bad stuff that happens to you in this game. Is there anything else you don't like about the game? Um, nope. Nope. All right, very rock-solid recommendation from him. For me personally, um, I'm going to say that this is going to get repetitive. That is one of the big things that I think a lot of people are going to not like about this game because you're going to be doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's just you're going to put your monkeys up, you're going to be rolling the dice, you're going to do what the dice say, then you're going to do it again, and you're going to do it again, and you're going to do it again, and you're going to do it again. And I feel like, especially at two players, the game can go a little bit longer than I want it to. We actually have a house rule where we go to 10 bananas. So the first person to get to 10 bananas will be the winner of the game, but you can adjust accordingly depending on who you're playing with or how often you play. Uh, any other cons that I have with the game? Sometimes the little stick things don't turn as well as they as you would like them to. I think the more you play, though, the easier it's going to be. So that's more of a minor nitpick than anything else. Um, there's not too much real skill or strategy here. There's a small memory element which is you're like oh i turned this one last time so maybe this time i should turn this one or this one this is one of those games where as a, an adult you should probably win most of the time so you're gonna have to play down a little bit to the competition but um that's all i got really on the con side you know it's repetitive but moving on to the pros did you like banana party did yeah. you like it is this one of your new favorite games yeah I, I really do think it is. He says, you know, he loves a lot of games, but I think this is one of his new favorite games. There co there's a couple different reasons why. First, if you saw the middle part, the components are really nice. Everything in this game looks really cool, doesn't it? Yep. Like when you set up those walls, it looks really neat. I like when you start playing with three and four players, so everybody's got two different walls to do it on. That's really kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, you didn't say what I like about the game. Oh, my mistake. What did you like about the game? What were some of your favorite I... things about the game? Um, I like when my monkeys do not go off the tree. Do you like when you when you find other people's monkeys and you hear the hear them start to click and clack and then they fall to the ground? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Like that is pretty neat when you're turning that and you're like, you turn it just a little, you're like, oh, I got a monkey! And then you're like, how many bananas did I get? One or two? Uh, I like that. What did you think about the dice? Did you like getting... Did you like getting just bananas on the dice? Because one side of the die just gives you a banana. Or did you like it when you got to turn them better? I like when um, when someone knocks off my monkeys and then, oh, um, I like when the, my, I get, when I get, my, uh, put my monkeys back on my tree. That's what I like. You like it when you when you have the monkeys down, so then you roll the dice and you get the monkey on it, so you get to put them back up. So yeah, so that's what Sean likes. I like a lot about it. I think this is going to be a family game that gets played in our house for a very long time. Um, well, I will say, I don't know what the age range on this is. I would say probably up to about seven or eight years old, and then I think they're going to outgrow this game. But well, that's a good deal of time, because how old are you? He's three, so we probably got this game for the next four to five years. It goes up to four players. It plays four players perfectly fine. Three players, two players. It plays all different player counts very, very well. So if you have a two-child family, I think this is a great one to possibly add to your collection. And uh, I foresee us playing this with his his son, uh, my his son, my son Luke in the future too. You think Luke will like this game when he gets a little bit older? Yeah. So overall, Banana Party it can get repetitive, but. If you have a family of under four, I think this is a rock-solid addition to add to your family game library. Also, if you uh, work with kids or something like that, I think they're going to have a lot of fun with this game. Great components, great artwork, it's easy to learn, easy to teach, very solid family game, and one that once he gets a little bit older, he can play by himself as well, which is always a good thing. So that is Banana Party from Queen Games. Are we giving it a thumbs up? Oh, giving it two. Giving it the thumbs up. Really enjoyed this one if you're in the market for a family game. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Do you have a question for all the people? Um, yep. What, what's your question? You can ask them anything in the whole wide world. Um, I like when my monkeys stay gone. In the comments below, let me know. Would you like to have a pet monkey? Would you like to have a pet monkey, Sean? 
No, why not? Because I like pet rats. A pet rat? Well, we don't have a pet rat. I would like a pet monkey because you know what I think would be pretty cool? I think it would be pretty cool if we had a pet monkey who rode our dog around because we got a really big dog. So then we'd, we'd have this monkey riding around on a dog. I think that would be pretty silly. But let me know in the comments below. Would you like a pet monkey? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.